Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1975 Southwest Sesame Street here in McMinnville. We're located at the front of the home. We're just off to the left of the front doorway. We have a three inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer wall. We currently have water running. I'm gonna turn this off here for just a moment. Anyhow, we're going to check the overall con uh, condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We'll turn some water back on here in just a moment. Looks like it bells out to a four inch pipe here immediately upon access, but I turned the water off there for a moment. It looked like it was, wasn't was handling the water flow that well. Anyway, we're going to get some water running back down here. I just wanted to make sure we didn't have a blockage. Went over a little bit of debris there. We'll we'll take a look at that on the way out when it's all drained. Make sure there's nothing going on that's causing it to collect. Transitions here over to looks like six inch thirty thirty four PVC pipe. And here at 59 feet, we have reached the main. We're going to let the line drain out here for a few minutes before reeling in. Now I'm going to go locate just to verify where this is at. All right, located the camera head successfully out the main on Sesame Street. Apart from a slight deviation, and it pretty much does a straight shot out from the clean out. And when we get back to the beginning here, I'm going to reverse direction. We're going to scope back into, at least partially back into the crawl space. So I can tell that there's been some settling that's taken place there. I just want to see how much. There's, it's actually not uncommon to have a belly that starts in the crawl space and ends about the time it exits the foundation. I want to make sure there's nothing going on under the floor. I'm not sure what exactly we have here or what's stuck in the pipe. It might be a big giant glob of glue from when the line was first installed because whatever's there, normally if it's something soft, the camera will kind of break it up and move it on its way. Whatever's here is stuck there fairly well. Now that may not look like much there, but that can actually cause more stuff to build up than you'd think having having something like that right in the flow line. Now my guess is we've got a big glob of glue there from when the pipe was installed and it's just caused stuff to collect on top of it. That's as best as I can tell is what's going on here. If this were softer, the camera would be breaking it apart more than likely and moving it on its way. So I am going to recommend some drain cleaning. I'd recommend either augering or jetting the line to remove that. It doesn't appear to be a, I mean, it's possible there's something else going on there. There's a tree fairly close to this spot, so it potentially could be that, but I would think that we'd be seeing some root hairs poking out from that if it were the case. <clears throat> I 
I think we may have a similar thing going on right here at this spot as well. Usually when a line's been installed with one really, you know, heavily glued joint, you usually will have multiple. And I would try and get that stuff trimmed out of there. Because it can, it can cause stuff to hang up a lot easier than you think. It's Especially if something goes down the line that shouldn't be going down the line, like paper towels or something like that. So we're now going back towards the home or underneath the floor of the house. And this is what I thought we might find here. Look, we just popped out of standing water. Now the line here, now there's, there's kind of a trick that I do to, to try and measure the, the level of, of a belly. When we're, when we're just using a, a camera, we're doing this just visually, so it is to a certain extent eyeballed. But what I do is I yank the camera back really quickly, and generally if that water level is about an inch and a half or less, the water will suck down below the camera lens. And in this circumstance, I've already done that here a couple times, and it's, it, it's staying, the camera's staying submerged. Right there, I just did that, and we're not getting any water level coming down. And just sloshing around in it there, it sounded like it was almost completely full. So we've got we've got probably close to three inches of standing water in this section of pipe here, which I would recommend fixing. You can see all the stuff that's built up in it. I would recommend that be corrected. That starts just inside, pretty much right at the foundation, going back in there to about it's about the last four to five feet of the pipe. Should be pretty easy to see because it does kind of a there's a dive here. I'll pull, put this back in here one more time, but this is something I won't be able to locate. You'll have to just have a plumber come out and go into crawl space, but narrowing it down shouldn't be very hard to do. It's about the last five feet of the line before it exits the foundation, but there is a, a dive here. So wherever it, it dives down, right where that starts, there's about a oh four foot section of pipe here that it, it looks like it's completely full of water. There's dang near three inches of water in there if it's not all the way full. So I'm just going to write this up as far, basically from the clean out back in to five feet, I would recommend fixing the belly and the line there. Based on the cleanliness of the line, I, it, it's hard to say, but it doesn't look like it's ever backed up there before. My camera right now is just reeling out a ton of toilet paper that's collected in that spot. It's quite thick with debris, so if, if anywhere in the line something's going to hang up and, get in, and block up, it's going to be right there at that spot. And when it hangs up regular old toilet paper, that's when you have a problem, not just things like paper towels that shouldn't be going down there. If paper towels did go down the line, though, or things like that, it would stick in that spot extremely easily. So I do recommend fixing that. And I'm going to see if my camera can go back any further. It goes through a bunch of turns here right off the bat. It might not. We'll see if it can. Make sure there's no other standing water issues. We just went up an auxiliary drain there. That's the end of the main line pipe. Now we're going to go ahead and reel the camera on back. As an overview, I recommend correcting the belly um, from the. It's from either depending on how you're looking at it, the last about five feet of the line just before it exits the foundation, or from the clean out back in five feet. I recommend fixing the belly there. We've got. It, it, and based on the sound of the water that it's making when I, when I run the camera back and forth through there, it does sound like it's completely full of water. So it's got about three inches of standing water in it, and then I recommend jetting the line or augering it. I would show the video to the drain cleaning guys so they kind of know what they're, what they're getting into here, and they can you know, pick the best implement to remove that stuff. But I'd recommend jetting or augering the line to remove the excess. It looks like excess pipe glue. Could be something else entirely, but it does look like excess glue. Yeah, and I can hear I, when I just dropped in there. I can hear air bubbles bubbling up, so it's it's completely full. There's three inches of water there. 
and our, our, our glue gobs are at six feet out from the clean out going away from the home. And there's one just before that at about, oh, two feet. Hopefully both those issues will get taken care of at the same time there. Aside from that, though, that little belly there and the excess glue, the rest of the line's in good condition, has good flow, and is functioning properly at this time. The line currently, though, is not functioning properly due to that, that belly there, nor the glue in the flow line. So I, I recommend, I highly recommend it be rescoped either by myself or the drain clean guys to prove to you, um, and, and that the plumber did their job and corrected the belly and got everything cleaned out of the line.